smile. <laughs> bad, bad choice of timing there. there we go. No, perfect choice of timing. Well, it might be. Might have to put the brightness down on this, flip yeah, it. Yeah, you probably have to put that finger properly. So today we're at the Copswood Wildlife Park for my birthday week. Every week. It's yeah. the start of the birthday week. So enjoy. I really can't see. For the life of me, I cannot see this screen. <laughs> You probably actually didn't hear a word I just said because you're on the phones. Completely forgot that, but anyway, it was a fun day, wouldn't you agree? Oh, fun day. In 200 yards, turn right. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna close the mic. The train just appeared. Random train appeared, but today we are going to London. Woo! How exciting. Um, we've parked up at Oxford Parkway. I'm doing quite a lot of driving, which is actually really good. Good. Testing my car, even though I nearly freaking pulled off my wing mirror on the way here. Some some bush decided to nearly take it out, which is just so. I don't. I don't even know where it came from. Mm. Like it was just just there, and then suddenly, bang! There was speed bump mixed in with wing mirror going in. There's no one. really don't know what happened, but I was not expecting that to happen. The joys of driving in places you don't really know. Even though I do know it. Yeah, but not I do know it, but I just never paid attention to the nitty gritties of driving. Because... I never used to drive when I used to live here because I couldn't drive. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to London today. Um, our train is in 40 minutes. To be fair, I thought our train was earlier. I thought our train was at 23 minutes past, not 24 minutes past. Should have really checked that before we left. But then again, I also wasn't sure how long it would take to get here. However, said 29 minutes certainly wasn't 29 minutes. minutes. Um, so I think the way that I went was the quicker way compared to the way the sat-nav wanted me to go. <laughs> the sat-nav sent me somewhere. So it sent me the sort of sort of in the centre, getting into the centre of Oxford. Yeah. When I go the back way. You don't even care. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I just edit that bit up. Should really show you my outfit today. I actually quite like it. Catch you on the train. Bye. Yep. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi. 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 Yeah, favourite section. I've also bought quite a lot from here already. Some makeup and things, so exciting. And coffee. And coffee. We've got a fancy We're heading front. to Common Garden. And really oh, it's true. Same quiet, it's busy for me. But it isn't busy compared to um, anything else. Rest me, I'm done. What? Van's revving me. We've done a lot of shopping. Like a lot of shopping. Yeah, we have. But we don't care. <laughs> no, I don't um, we're going to go find a gluten free donut. How does that sound? Heavy, as long as it's with some sort of caffeine. I'm all these. Same. Same. <laughs> she's stuck. Oh, she's up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Never. Shut up. Oh, I've got pizza <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if everybody zooms into those photos, they'll be able to see the remnants of the pizza hut you just had dis demolished. Shut up. What's your fancy? Strawberries. Oh, I've got pizza on my mouth. Have I got pizza on my mouth? I think I did alright. I want to bits. God, I really don't have a place to put you in my bedroom. It's really annoying without a tripod anyway. So I'm back home now, as you can tell. Uh, my room is a very much a state. It's a really fun day. I'll show you later once I've got my hair done, because that's why my hair looks like this. Um, because I'm off to the hairdressers in a minute. Um, I'll show you the things that I got from Selfridges and stuff. Uh, when I get back from my hair appointment. This is just my outfit for today. It's a very comfy casual outfit. Even though, please do ignore my hair. I really do ignore it. Um, I washed it last night to get rid of all the dry shampoo and all the, the grease, really. Even though I'm going to the hairdresser today, it just didn't seem right to turn up with a really disgusting mop of hair. Anyway, even though it looks really like cloudy, it's not going to focus in the slightest. It's really cloudy up there. It's forecast to be about 24 today, so I think it's going to be a, a muggy day today. So this will sort me right now. I think it'll be perfect. And yeah, just put the brightness down just slightly because I feel a little bit overexposed. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got from London because I said I was going to do this and I never did um, because, to be honest, I haven't really felt great. Um, I've had a bit of a weird couple of days because my stomach, just for some reason, just was not having a great time. I feel absolutely fine now, so I think it was like a 24-hour bug kind of thing. But anyway, um, let's start with the things I got from Selfridges and get all the stuff out of the bag. So the first thing I picked up is this Morphe palette. Well both of the things actually from Selfridges are from Morphe. Um, because I'm getting back into my makeup, um, I wanted to get a new eyeshadow palette and it's just the their Coke collection like collaboration because it's been 50 years, which I'm really surprised at. I thought Coke existed long for longer than that but clearly not but yeah this is the palette the reason why I got it is because I like sort of these new this neutral side and I like glitters so I feel like all of these glitter ones go well with the shades in the palette so I thought that was really nice and yeah well, I just really liked it to be honest um the next thing as well I got was um a highlighter because my Becca highlighter um, 
has hit the pan and it's really, it's like three years old. Don't even go there. Anyway, but it's, this is what it just looks like. I can't. Look at me being a beauty guru, honestly. Um, it's just in the shade Spark and to be honest, out of the ones that I could see and test, this was the nicest colour. Um, I didn't want to go for something that I'd already had because the Becca one I have is quite a like an orangey toned one so I wanted to change it up a bit and pink toned stuff suits me so just wanted to try that one out um I did go to Lush but my the shower gel is in my drawer over there and if I'm honest with you too much effort to go and get it but I did also pick up a charity pot because I wanted to have a bit of a thicker um what's it called Thicker hand cream, and I saw Lush and I was there, so I was like, I might as well get one from Lush because charity pots, all of them, the price of it goes to a charity, so you can never do wrong with that. Um, but yeah, love that. Um, I then in boots because I really didn't get much from London, so that's two shops, and then in, from boots. I picked up a new set of brushes and a new powder brush because when I tell you my brushes are six years old, five, six years old, I mean they are five, six years old. Like the brushes I have were the first brushes I ever got. Um, so yeah, I thought it was about time that I re refreshed them and I'm pretty sure this is the set that I got originally. So. I can just chuck the brushes that I've got and yeah I might actually not chuck them I might keep them for when I move to uni um, in September and stuff so there's that um, I then also wanted to try this elf CC cream I've heard lots about it I'm sure some of the youtubers that I watch use this like especially the American ones and I I've got, I didn't get it in the lightest shade, I got it like fair, so they're both called fair, but this one has like peachy undertones, and normally I'm pretty sure my foundation, my foundations, my concealers are the, like the pinker toned ones rather than the like cool, like, the non pinky toned ones, so I thought I'd try this, um, see what it's like next time I wear some makeup. Um, I'm not sure when that will be because it's we're having a heat wave, so I don't really want to be caking myself in makeup for a heat wave. However, we will try. Um, but on the way back from London, I was on the train, was watching a YouTube video as I normally do on the way home. It was literally like that day trip to London from Oxford was literally like a throwback to what. I used to do with my dad all the time and oh, I just that day made me so happy and like it was the best birthday I've had in so long anyway I was watching a video and this youtuber cause I nearly bought these a couple of months ago actually uh, but this youtuber I watched she bought these um, to do her nail art with and I and she said that they looked really good and they were, I think they were like four pounds off of Amazon, um, so you can't really go wrong. And I am looking to do more nail art stuff with my gel because, um, because yeah, I, I'm sure I said this in another video as well. I'm trying to do more nail art stuff, so they're just like all these different like textured brushes. Um, We'll have to wash these before I do the nail art with them. But like you can do really cool like brushed patterns and then also I do have a dot at all but these dotters are just like different sizes so I can do like little dots and flowers and stuff. So I just wanted to try those out to see what they were like um, because you can't really go wrong if they're a piece of crap. if they're only four quid so I just thought I'd try those um, I did also today from Amazon order some cuticle oil 
because my one that I get from Boots is like permanently out of stock everywhere. Like, went to Boots in my town, went to Boots um, in the town just opposite me where my boyfriend lives. None. So, we also looked in Boots in London, and even in London, it doesn't exist. So, I'm assuming that it's out of stock everywhere, so that's going to be great. However, um, yeah, I ordered this like cuticle softener stuff that my nail ladies used to use or probably still use. Um, so I thought that might be a good thing to get. I also don't know where my boyfriend is because he's supposed to be picking me up, so I have no idea where the hell he is. And I've been talking to you for 15 minutes, so that's great. So catch you in a bit.